Hello, this hotspot presentation is being delivered by me, Anita Radini, and my colleague Brendan O'Neill, and it's our pleasure to introduce in UCD Center for Experimental Archaeology and Material Culture, known as CMAC. This is led by Professor Aidan O'Sullivan, Dr. Brendan O'Neill, Professor Barry Malloy, the Director of the Laboratory for Artifact Biography, Lab, and more recently by me. The center is based at the University College Dublin and is one of the only university on campus facilities in the world totally dedicated to experimental archaeology and material culture, research, teaching and public engagement. CIMAC includes outdoor and indoor facilities to run different scales of experiment as well as equipment and expertise in the analysis of artifacts in uh, a range of ancient uh, technologies. There are many different definitions for experimental archaeology that tend to emphasize either scientific or experiential sources. Here at CMAC, we embrace both and consider experimental archaeology the reconstruction of past buildings, technologies, practices and things based on archaeological evidence and their investigation as archaeological analogies through testing, recording, use and experience to create a better understanding of people's lives in the past. Or put more simply, we're focused on making, understanding and storytelling. CMAC stands on three main pillars. First, we support archaeological research projects in a great range of period of times, technologies and materials. For example, we have projects on the house through the ages and its importance within the landscape and as a social space. We also have projects ranging from ancient ceramics, woodwork, metalwork, and even around ancient crafts impact dealt. CIMAC has received funding from a variety of funding bodies, for example, the Irish Research Council and Marie Curie, funding PhD and postdoctoral fellowships. More recently, the center has been involved in cultural protection programs in North Africa, where experimental archaeology methods are used to bridge gaps of knowledge between generations in regards of traditional crafts, such as textile production, dyes and basketry. Another of CMAC's pillars is public engagement and outreach, which allows us to communicate what we do and what we found out directly to the uh, general public. We do this through our various social media platforms where we can keep friends and followers updated with our daily activities. We also engage in a wide, with, with a wide, wide range of museums and heritage sites to design innovative programs that can communicate the work of experimental archaeology and its role in understanding the past. And finally, we also run live displays of ancient technologies for audiences across Ireland and beyond. The final pillar of CMAC is teaching. We deliver programs at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels, fusing traditional lectures with practical engaging teaching. During these, our students create their own research interests and projects and find new ways of answering research questions relating to material culture. This sole authorship, as we call it, gives students direct ownership of their research and develops important skills in becoming a thinking archaeologist. Our successes in teaching are best seen through our MSc and graduate diploma programs in experimental archaeology and material culture, now both in our seven years. For us, making helps us think through our senses about people and things in the past. Understanding gives us a better appreciation of the technology, skills and knowledges used by people in the past, as well as a means of interpreting the archaeological record. And storytelling is our approach to telling stories about people's lives in the past. Thank you all so much for listening to our presentation today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to get in contact with us directly. Thank you very much.